Known for various treats and delights, souvenirs and sights, the City of Pines is not just a tourist destination. 10 kilometers south of downtown Baguio, you find a sprawling 373 hectare compound in Loacan. This is Fort General Gregorio del Pilar. Named after the young, brave, and bold hero of Tirad Pas. This is the place where cadets are honed to become future armed forces officers and leaders. Its mission? To instruct, train, and develop the cadets so that they will possess the character, the broad and basic military skills, and the education essential to the pursuit of a progressive military career. Taas no ko pong masasabi na inubog ng PMA ang kanyang mga anak upang maging epektibong leader ng AFP. Its rigid and unique four-year curriculum has been designed to fit the specific needs of major branches of service of the armed forces of the Philippines. Just like military academies in the United States, Female cadets have also been accepted by the PMA since 1993. The PMA site was developed into an ideal military training institution with facilities and infrastructure required of a growing military institution. But unlike other courses offered in regular academies, it takes a lot of guts to enter the Philippine Military Academy. But more than a degree, it's the badge of honor and pride one will carry with dignity, integrity, and responsibility once he or she gets passed through all the trials and tests inside the PMA. DSTV presents an in-depth presentation of the highlights of the 109th PMA graduation. Get to know the insights of those who topped among the 222 graduates. For these are the newest batch of men and women who will serve and protect and defend our country. After years of hard work and labor, now is the time for Siklab Diwa class of 2014 to take the full responsibility as members of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. Consisting of 222 cadets who passed the rigorous military trainings in theory and practice, the Siklab Diwa class of 2014 has so far the highest turnouts of graduates. Ang ibig sabihin ng Siklab Diwa is sundalong ikararangal ng lahing bayani sa diwang lugas. Ibig pong sabihin na uh, kami po ay uh, gusto po ng class namin na maging ehemplo na ma ng mga kasundalohan at uh, balang araw po ay uh, yung mga sundalo ay ikakarangal po ng taong bayan po. On top of the class is a farmer's son who also earned lots of recognition from the academy. He is Cadet First Class George Leona. Yung tatay ko po, uh, magsasaka po siya. Bali, palay po. Tapos, uh, pagkakopra rin po yung uh, pinagkakabalan po niya. Tapos, yung pad po namin, yung palay po namin, yung rice. Parang, for own consumption lang po siya. Bali, yung pagkakopra po talaga yung napagupo na namin ng income. Yung mother ko naman po, housewife po siya. Pero, pag may time po, pag uh, nakalibri po siya, nagbibenta po siya ng mga kakanin po. Uh, Siyempre, kung sa ganong, kan po, sa ganong estado po ng buhay, masasabi ko po talaga na uh, 
medyo kulang po talaga. George never stopped in reaching his dream to finish his studies. He used their state of living as an inspiration to succeed in his endeavors. Parang hindi lang po to para sa akin, para rin po sa pamilya ko, para po sa lahat ng sumusuporta sa akin. Tapos, uh, sabi ko po noon na uh, dapat maging proud naman sa akin yung parents ko na mer meron naman po akong mapatunayan sa kanila. Tapos po, uh, naniniwala po ako noon na parating nandiyan po yung si God natin na parating gumagabay sa atin sa lahat ng oras. Kaya nalagpasan ko po yung mga pagsubok na binigay sa akin ng pagkatlebo. This bunch of cadets exhibit big potential on their respective fields. The plaques of recognition received by the honor list only proves that the Siglab Diwa class of 2014 are full of exemplary cadets. Gusto ko lang yung sports. Ayoko ng mga awards. Ang gusto ko lang talaga is mag-enjoy ako sa sports. Kung saan ako nag-enjoy, sa takbuhan. Parang, parang lang yan eh. Ang tawag niya. Kung baga, mahal mo lang yung sports na yun. Nag-enjoy ka. At the same time, lumakas ka. Hindi ako nag-after sa mga medal-medal, gano'n, hindi. Pero, yun nga, as part ng kwan, kailangan ko rin matipagsabayan kasi, siyempre, parang sa akin kasi, parang gusto ko rin i-mission yung limit ko, kung hanggang saan yung kakayahan ko. Pero tanggap ko na may mas malakas pa sa akin. Pero sabi ko sa sarili, kaya ko silang pantayan kung magpapalakas ako. Ang yung una talaga is yung book graduate. Ang talaga yung una kong goal book graduate. Tapos, uh, somehow, medyo naisip ko na, uh, last year siguro, naisip ko na na napapabina ako sa top 10. Kasi may nilalabas nga naman taon-taon na ranking. And, ando naman ako sa top 10. So, naisip ko na rin. Uh, Pinush ko na. Kasi nga, sabi nga, ng mga, sabi nga ng mga officers na females at sabi ng mga classmates ko, na nandun ka na. Uh, pag, pag nakuha mo yan, maraming babae yung may inspire na nakaya nga naman ng babae kasi marami na rin babae na pumasok sa top 10. These cadets might have experienced hard training inside the academy, but today marks the real deal when they are given their respective designations. Now, it's official. Hi, state your name. They are the new public servants and peace guardians of our country. To show strength, courage, knowledge, agility, and camaraderie, a silent drill exercise was performed. This is a joint effort where there should be no room for error. Each cadet should take responsibility for his or her actions to make this drill overall excellent. Another highlight that every PMA -er looks forward to is the ceremonial parade done by the graduating batch. Isa po itong tradisyon ng PMA kasi parang isa din po ito sa mga inaabangan ng mga tao yung pagtatrat na nakakatawa po siyang tignan kasi hindi mo alam kung tumatak o naglalakad po. Parang isa, tradisyon lang po talaga ito sa isang parada sa PMA. Kerlin Asuncion is the first ever female adjutant to lead the ceremonial parade. Hindi lang po sa nakatayo lang po ako doon kasi usually yung, yung parade is nakatayo lang kasi nagtatrat pa po ako doon kaya pinagandaan ko po Ayoko din naman po ipahiya yung PMA. And to remind them of the four years they had inside the academy, a token is given to every member of the graduating class by a ceremony called the Ring Hop. Sinaunang uh, practice na ito ng uh, kadete ang uh, Ring Hop. No? It dates sa uh, kahit yung mga noon pang nakapagtapos sa Philippine Military Academy. Ito ay talagang ginaganap nila. Napaka-importante ng uh, ring hop na ito dahil ito ay sumisimbolo ng uh, formal ng pagsusuot ng kadete ng kanilang class ring. This time, the cadets will choose the closest person to their heart and offer his college ring to express his relief and gratitude for all the hard work and patience. Ang uh, class ring po ay uh, isang uh, reminder sa kanila ng kanilang apat na taon na pinagdaanan sa PMA. Nakaukit sa, sa class ring na yaon ang uh, kanilang motto na courage, integrity and loyalty. At uh, sa kabilang side naman ng singsing na yaon ay ang class crest. Forever to remind them kahit sila ay nasa labas na ng uh, Philippine Military Academy, sa mga pagkakataon sila ay matitest at matcha-challenge ng uh, mga nangyayari sa labas. All they have to remind themselves kapag suot nila ang kanilang singsing ay ang kanilang pinagdaanan sa PMA at ang kanilang mga natutunan. 
The Ring will be their constant reminder that they should assimilate PMA learnings and trainings at all times. The graduation ceremony will not be complete without the presence of the head of the Commander-in-Chief, President Benigno S. Aquino III. Apat na taong kayong hinubog ng institusyon ito upang isabuhay ang kagitingan, integridad at katapatan. Subalit, sa kapalamang magsisimula ang tunay na mga pagsubok sa pagiging kawal panglabas ninyo rito sa Fort Del Pilar. It seems that the new graduates of the Philippine Military Academy bear a heavy weight on their shoulders to protect and serve the nation no matter what it takes. But their class name tells us that they will do their best to bring glory, honor, and pride to the Philippines. A big salute to our new hero.